guys and welcome back to my channel for part number 40 holy guacamole 5 of let's play the sims 3 generations so you guys it has been such a toss-up between what i should do with mrs amelia may and what i shouldn't do so many of you were like no to uh, her being a vampire and yes to being a baby um let me go ahead if you guys have a minute i know i'm not moving the camera but um i'm gonna go ahead and try to see if i can filter out on my phone because my phone's very much a piece of crap um the top comments so my idea was that um she has a one night stand with xavier then kills olive his girlfriend um and then in fear of being killed in jail pretty much in a nutshell she wants to become immortal and begs for her father to change her in which she reluctantly agrees to do to the fact that he um could do this for her at the very least um, I could actually see her becoming a black widow, which I could. So, um, I really don't know what to do. A lot of you, I liked it. Some of you said, please don't turn her into a vampire. She'll look weird. Um, gosh. And then what was some other one? Um, yeah. And then 54 comments. Yes. Uh, 54 likes. Yes. Pregnant and yes. Vampire. And then somebody said, I have too many, um, surprise pregnancies. Well, it really wouldn't be a surprise. We're kind of planning it. And the whole point of her becoming a vampire is to, like I said, she wants to kind of maybe even become some sort of ringleader of a vampire posse, turn people, create her own little posse of vampires who knows but i definitely think if anything amelia may will become a vampire now if you don't like that that's okay again we are not really continuing on with her this is just we are focusing in on her story for a little bit someone thought that i was continuing on with amelia well she isn't really fitting my perspective and um i'm not really worried about the age limit thing like at all like the fact that she is um she would outlive all of her family so it really doesn't bother me any to be honest um but right now, what we're going to do is just kind of pick up from where we had left off. I actually need to go ahead and pause this real quick. We're going to have a little lag here. I hate having to do this every single time, but we are going to restore the defaults for um, the ages here. Hopefully nothing got affected. But anyways, like I was saying, uh, we're going to go ahead and take Xavier home. He's our man. I really don't care about her, him and Olive or whoever the hell. Who the hell's Olive anyway? Did we ever get to see her? Uh, let me see who Olive is. I think we did. I think we did. I don't remember who she was, though. Um, but anyway, I was going to kill Olive because I have the mod. No, don't leave. Don't leave. You cannot leave. Like, seriously, you're going to kill everything. Oh, my goodness. He's actually going home. He, so he pretty much drove us home and nothing happened. What? Oh, oh, we, so we had a good date. Sorry, I have to go. I have to work soon. Roses are red, violets are blue. I thought it was a great date. How about you? Ah, uh, I thought it was horrible. It sucked, to be honest, but that's okay. We also need to get up really early in the morning because we are going to go make a surprise visit to Blake and Mila. That was something you all had requested. Um, gosh, I guess that one night stand thing kind of fell through. When do we have to return? Tomorrow? Might be a one day stand. Can we extend our stay by any chance? I don't know. I don't know if we can. I can probably see if we could. But I'm going to get Amelia all kind of gussied up here and ready to um, go to sleep. It's kind of late. Uh, it's actually really, really late. But she just... I guess the point of her becoming a vampire is just the, the immortality of it all. She has this really big fear of being alone um, and being an outcast. And in fact, it's so significant to the point where she actually is trying to make herself an outcast. It's, it's kind of odd. You know, she really wants to be loved and she she's afraid of becoming old. And ideally, the whole vampire thing just kind of works for her. And I actually might um, install a mod to where she can go about her business during the daytime because we'll just get her a ring or something and call that her a daylight ring or something. You know what I mean? We can work around. We can work around the fine little details, but we are definitely going to make her a vampire. So I'm throwing that out there. The pregnancy thing, girl, you appear through your dress, dirty bird. Um, I, I might wait on that. I don't know. I don't know. But I could see her kind of being like her, um, her, technically this is like her aunt, isn't it? I feel like this is her aunt indirectly. Um, I feel like she could be like her aunt and, um, 
be kind of like a gold digger because that's what happened to Athena. Speaking of which, we really need to fix her skin, but I don't even know if it's worth it at this point. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, actually put her to sleep. I know she's hungry, but she can always eat in the morning. And then when um, the morning dawns, we will pick up from there. Hello guys and welcome back. I am feeling a slightly sad for Mrs. Amelia May here. Last night didn't work out and um, she kind of feels like it's, um, I direct uh, insult to her personality. She kind of feels like Xavier left her because he's in love with Olive and that really hurt her a lot. It didn't really dawn on me last night that he was just being nice and that in fact, in reality, he's in love with her. <laughs> he's in love with Olive. And that hurts Amelia a lot. Because all she wants is to be loved, too. And she won't stop at anything to get it. So, yeah. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and um, have her go visit Mr. Blake and uh, let me see Blake and Mila I can't remember if they ever moved in a house or if they moved in two um let me see I can't remember where the hell they moved if they moved into a house or a what exactly so I think they moved into a high rise what is she doing what is this <laughs> Music's fitting, isn't it? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know, but she's going to go visit him. And maybe we'll see Mila showing a little bit. I don't know. She's so cute. I love her so much. I really am uh, happy you guys encouraged me a lot to kind of... Um, what? I don't understand. Um, anyway, what was I going to say? There's some, like, immigration law. Who knows? But anyways, um, I kind of feel like I'm really happy that you guys, like, pushed the, the fa fact that keep going with Amelia's story. I feel like she really has a solid, developed character. I feel like she has a personality. And I feel like you can sympathize with her for a lot of reasons. I feel like she's just a kind of like a puppy left out in the rain. <laughs> she's definitely um, one of those, those sims that uh, you can't help but love. And this place looks like a freaking insane asylum. Uh, let me see. So Mila Springston. Let's try it. Okay, I don't think we have access, but we're going to go ahead and see if she's home. Um, Mila is not home. Please try again later. We're going to invite her over. I don't think she's showing by any means, but we're going to see if she'll come. Okay, sorry, I'm busy. Call back in three hours. All right, well, I really want to see them. I mean, we have one more day. I think we actually leave tomorrow. So that gives us one more night in um, Setra to kind of figure out what we're going to do and try one more time with Xavier. Um, so I don't really know where my brother is right now, but he obviously isn't interested in hanging out with us for some freaking reason. And that's kind of upsetting because I really wanted to see him. So we're just going to send a whole bunch of friendly texts. And then, um, what happened? Oh my goodness. She got freaking rerouted. Why is this happening? Okay. Well, whatever. She can keep sending the text messages. That's fine. All right. Let me see if we can maybe invite him over to where we are. Um, invite household over. Let me see. Okay. At least if we can visit him, that would be awesome. And then maybe we can go back to his house. Sure, we'll be over soon. Please don't mess up. Okay. Mila won't come, but it looks like Blake will. And I think Mila's busy, so we'll hang out with him for a little bit and just kind of, you know, talk about our lives. Try to, obviously, improve our relationship because I think that's what she wanted to do. But my dumb butt, I didn't save it. So we're going to try to do that and um, just talk to him. It's actually really a crappy day today, which is weird because this is, like, supposed to be a desert town. And it's so not. But uh, we're going to go ahead and toss the um, the uh, garbage here and wait for Blake. He should be here any minute. All right. So there he is. He's looking extremely handsome as always. And his poopy diarrhea baby color hair. I love it. Um, let me go ahead and uh, greet. Sure. Okay. Buzz in. Yep. That sounds awesome. So we're going to have him come over. Or actually, let's just go downstairs and see if we can talk to him instead. Uh, we are going to compliment his cleverness. 
Oh, what did you just do? I'm pretty sure he just like jumped up in the air. It was kind of weird. But we'll see if he's gonna come up here. Oh, Jesus. Amelia. Gosh, she's listening to this like depressive music. I feel bad for her. Let's change it to something else. We're gonna listen to indie. All right, here's Blake. Ah, it's your brother. I wish you could give him a hug, but it's been a minute. Oh my god, no, 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 don't go downstairs. Go here. No, don't go downstairs. Why, 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 why? Don't go downstairs. Don't go down. Don't do it. Amelia. Ah, crap. Where is she at? Go here. Okay. Well, brother's gonna go sit down, hopefully, so. I like how this takes two hours. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, what is he doing? He's gonna play some video games? Cool, I guess we could play with him, right? Um, let's see. Yeah, we can do it. We can we can play video game. Play racing game. Or can we just join him by chance? Join, play video game. How cool. Alright, yeah, we'll just play some video games with him for a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna turn off the, the music, though. Look how cute is this? Oh, no, don't leave me. Gosh, you're in the work, aren't you? Alright, well, it's nice playing video games with you for five freaking minutes. I really wish you didn't have to leave. Uh, gosh, now we're just... <clears throat> At least we're distant friends. <clears throat> but we'll be friends once we keep texting him and stuff, so. I mean, we did get to talk to him, at least. And then I just really want to see Mila. I know it's kind of creepy, but I'm going to see if she would like to come over. Hopefully, because I really did like her. So let me go and invite her out somewhere. I think that would be a little bit easier since we're having some issues with Mrs. Uh, Whatchamacallar over here. Like I said, I kind of want to just try to become friends with him. I mean, we're distant friends, but it's going to take a minute. Right? Yeah, it's definitely going to take a while. Okay, so let's go and um, take her to the Alama. I know she may be pregnant, but I really want to see her. So let me see. I don't think she'd be showing quite yet. I wonder what their baby would look like. Ah, so excited. Okay, sure. Sounds like fun. Let's meet there. And then what we're going to do is also try to invite Xavier to the carpool will arrive. Well, we're obviously not going to be going to work when we are on vacation. That's kind of stupid. So I won't obviously go at all. And we're going to quit that job anyway. So excuse me, Baldy. All right, let's hurry up and get there before she ends up leaving. Because pe pregnant women are quite impatient. And I hope she is still pregnant. I don't know. I hope so. I'd be really excited. Um, okay, so they actually open up at 5, so I don't know if that means she's coming or not. Um, let me see. Invite over. Let's try one more time. This is killing me here. Invite over. So, what the hell is this? Random freaking teddy bear. What? Like, it is a random teddy bear just hanging out here. Let's pick it up. Oh my goodness, we're gonna keep him. He's creepy. He's super creepy. I love, I do. Oh, look at her and her little teddy bear. How creeps. Um, okay, where is Mila? Here she is. Okay, so I'm not sure if she's pregnant or not, but um, be asked for food. Are you like a starving child or something? You look like a homeless lady in your outfit. I'm not gonna lie, but she's actually really pretty. Um, be friendly, ask about degree. She has a degree. Nice. Good job, Blake. Debate politics while we sit here and hold our creepy bear. We'll talk about computers. Let's just try to chat with her a little bit here. Okay, sister-in-law, of course. Just speed on through. Um, sorry, I got hung up on something. You're here, you weirdo. But that's okay. Um, she has a business degree. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, let me see what else we got going on here. Okay, it's just some boring stuff. Um, let me see. We are going to compliment her on her business degree. And then we are going to, of course, do a little shaka bra. That always works. And then we're going to see. Let's do a high five. Um, let's go ahead and trade some local gossip. And then that will be the last thing that we do. Because, I mean, I just wanted to kind of invite her out. I don't know if she's pregnant, so I don't really want to ask her to have a drink or something. It does look like we are friends, which is perfect. Um, all right. I kind of want to see if um, Mr. Xavier would like to come over. Uh, I don't know if he will, but let's just go inside with her for a little bit and have like a girl's night. I mean, she isn't showing yet, so it really doesn't matter if um, if we, you know, 
have her drink something. I don't think it's like against anything, but she doesn't look very uh, cute to be wearing this outfit that she's wearing right now. But let's just go inside. Cool. All right, let me go ahead and order a drink for Sim. We're gonna get her the K Thanks Buy. Oh, who the hell did I order the K Thanks Buy? Okay, I got it. I got it right. Is Xavier here? Could have sworn he was. Maybe not. Is he? I would die. Like, I would so die if he was here right now. No, but who are you? You're Ar Arving Palma? Oh my goodness. Ooh, Irving, you're actually not that ugly. You're kind of cute. I like him. I really do. He's creepy. I like it. <laughs> I kind of do like him. But let me go ahead and order this drink for her real fast. And I'm going to see if Mr. Xavier would like to come. And what, is it, what can we do here? We could, like, hang out in the lounge. This is such a cool place. I don't think I've ever really been here. And I've lived here so many times. It's just nuts. But we're going to get her this drink. And it's kind of like a toast to the, um, the, she is, yeah, she's a celebrity. Of course the Springstons are celebrities. But it's kind of a toast to the, to the good life. <laughs> I like it. Um, all right, girls, bottoms up. She's definitely, I could see her becoming a heavy, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> um, you got some ants in your pants, but I can see a butt crack, hey. Uh, it's kind of like, yeah, like I said, toast to the good life. Oh my goodness, who are you? Because you are like all Max, oh my god, you're so just, oh my god, you're so cute. Max is hella hot. Oh my lord. No, don't leave me. <gasps> Please, like, dear lord. Oh, mm, delicious. No. I want to meet you. Like, I want to meet you. Max! No! Don't leave me. You're really leaving me, Max. Oh, my God. I think he's just so cute. Um, okay, let me see. Who is here then? Robbie Grant? Um, you look like you're topless, but let me see if we can do some sweet. Oh, we're going to do some sweet dancing. That's what we're going to do. Just a little bit. Mrs. Amelia May here. Breaking it on down and getting down with her bad self yes oh my goodness all right so we're gonna actually ask our dad to come over and we're gonna invite him over and we're gonna kind of going to try to kind of guilt trip him into turning us i don't know if dad would do it but i'm certainly going to try like i said she after this whole entire experience and just her life in general she always wanted to feel like she belongs like i said so I think it kind of makes sense and this guy is also so attractive like he reminds me of a sawyer so let's go ahead and friendly do a friendly introduction to him because he is all sorts of hot oh yes oh you're so cute all right let's go ahead and try poor freaking amelia we're like not even oh la la perhaps she may um she may end up forgetting him altogether. What is wrong? Why are you leaving me? Like, why do men seem so repulsed by me? Like, they just run away. Is dad coming? I don't know if he said he was or he wasn't. I don't remember. I guess we could wait for him. Where's Mila at, anyway? They're all upstairs. Okay, so I actually want to kind of be romantic and, um, kind of want to see if he's single. Let's just, let's just, uh, let's just, uh, do a thing in my bobber where we, like, contemplate his attractiveness where the hell's my dad i don't know if he's coming i really don't i really do want to have like that one night stand with xavier though it's just so much to do and i feel like we don't have enough time to do it however i do think this guy is like extremely cute and maybe xavier will be a thing in the past i don't know we'll see i think his name's xavier right not xander yeah, it's Xavier, 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 not Xavier. The next. Okay. So I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think you're hot. Now, Amelia is definitely a little bit of an attract, attract, uh, attraction whore or something like that. And she thinks he is blindingly stunning. He is all sorts of cute. So we're going to do a little flirting. Who knows? Her one night stand may not end up being with, um, with, what you call her? Oh, he's actually married. Oh, I like it. Um, let me go ahead and uh, compliment his personality. Now he may not be interested, although he did think we were attractive. I can't seem to understand why he would be repulsed by that. But let's just ask about his age as well. I'm pretty sure he's married, and from what I understand, um, oh my God, Dad! Oh, cool. Hi. Oh my gosh. 
All right, so the first thing we're gonna go do is we're gonna save Max for another day. We're gonna we're gonna remember him for sure. But we're gonna talk about our conspiracies. Let's. Oh my God, he's 31 days older than us. How cute. What the hell is Mila doing? She's in her skimmies, breaking it on down. But Dad's over here, and uh, we're we're in the, we're in the quiet quiet area here. Okay, your vacation will be over in one day. Dad, oh my gosh, I'm. I need to be a vampire. Uh, pretty much in a nutshell, I just, it needs to happen. I need to become immortal. I need to live forever. And apparently her talking about this was just enough to, um, to maybe, maybe do it for him. Ew, try with baby. I was going to say, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let me see. Can we go ahead and, 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 and be a vampire? I think we can. No, I, I, I know we can. Uh, welcome to the family. Oh my gosh, so let's see about this. Oh, he's gonna do it, you guys. <gasps> ah! Oh my goodness, it is done. <gasps> it is done. <gasps> oh my gosh. It is done, you guys. It is done. She is now infected with the virus. She has the unusual blemish, a painless blemish that resembles two circular points on your skin. Perhaps it is the reason you feel so odd. Ooh. Amelia just made the ultimate choice and asked to be turned into a vampire. She will always remember the day she chose to forgo, forgo a mortal life. So, oh my God, it actually happened. <gasps> Oh, oh my goodness this is olive olive your hair looks like a freaking olive what the hell are you doing oh my goodness so word on the town okay well amelia is gonna actually go ahead and ditch the party i think and she's gonna go here so we are gonna go here without group and we're gonna stalk olive olive this is her freaking house she is loaded oh my gosh have seen arm in arm hmm i wonder Oh my gosh, I wonder if like she marries him if he'll be rich. Look at her house, you guys. She's gonna go stalk her. So dad says, it is done. Prepare yourself to wake into the infinite night. Oh my god, it is definitely it is definitely done. So our Miss Amelia May is no longer a creature of um you know, warm blood. She is now officially a vampire, you guys, and Honestly, I don't know how some of you are going to handle it, but trust me, it all comes with reason. So right now she's going to go ahead and uh, she's going to go ahead and stalk, stalk her a little bit. I don't know what she's going to do with Olive. I don't know if she's going to hurt Olive. I don't know if she would hurt Olive, but she, um, dad's actually following us. And I wonder if he thinks we're going to do something wrong. I think he's leaving. Yeah, he's going. He's like, I don't want to be any a part of what my daughter does. In fact, actually, he might end up showing up. Who knows? So what we're going to do is we are going to be creepy. And we're going to go ahead and look in her windows. Can we? No, 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 no. What are you doing? I don't want you to meet up with him. Nope. You need to get over here. Okay. I don't care if you have to go to the bathroom. You're going to end up peeing your pants. That's fine. We are going to totally look in her windows. Dad's right there. Look at him. There he is. Oh, my goodness. This isn't. This isn't it. This is a consignment shop. I was going to say, holy crap, she's rich. But this isn't even where she is. But we could actually go to the bathroom here, though, right? We can get inside and use the bathroom. I think so. I think there is a potty. There should be. Like, who the hell works here and doesn't have a bathroom? Like, even if I have to use in this one, I'm okay. Um, I don't see anything, you guys. No freaking potties to be had. Now, where the hell was her house? Ooh, she's so lucky. Oh my gosh, I totally lost her house because I thought we had it. All right. So unfortunately, Olive got away. I think Olive actually lives somewhere over here. Let's just go ahead and try to find where she lives. I think she lived. Oh my God, I can't tell. I really can't tell you guys where she is. I really can't. Maybe over here somewhere? Huh. Oh my god, that little lucky snatch basket supreme. She totally got away. No. All right. Well, it appears to me like we're going to be going home. I'm actually going to try to get dad to take us back to his place. 
um, for the night. Uh, hopefully, if that's okay. <laughs> uh, visit lot with group. Okay, so we're going to go here and we're going to go home in the same place just because I think I'm going to spend the night at my dad's house tonight just because I feel very um, weird and, and funny and, you know, it's dad. Like, he knows what I'm going through and then I just kind of, I don't think she wants to be alone tonight. So that's where she's going to go. She's going to go stay the night at her dad's house. She's going to try to have a, um, a little bit of uh, woohoo with... Um, with oh i guess um uh, mila's coming here what the hell am i doing that's right we're still technically all a group all three of us but i don't know if my dad will come so is that yeah he's coming here he comes there we go i guess we're all gonna spend the night at dad's house uh actually i am but that's fine but anyways as i was saying i don't really know what's going to become of mrs amelia i don't know if she's gonna end up having babies with Anne or not all i know though is she's got to pee in literally three freaking minutes and not to mention she has to uh, go home tomorrow so i hope she's gonna pee her pants oh my god how embarrassing and she's shaking it off just shake it off just shake it off um accused of being a vampire imply mother was ch a chewbacca a chewbacca what the hell no i'm good i do though need to stay the night dad <laughs> please because i have to go potty so damn bad or i already did but i have to like take a shower so i'm having a little bit of Glitchy, glitchy, poo poo over here. All right. Let's see. Hopefully, we can go inside. Um, I think we have access to his house. No, we don't. And this happened last time, didn't it? Yeah, it totally did. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to go home. We kind of walked dad home, and we're going to go home by ourselves. So that's fine. I'm going to have her go and take a shower and kind of contemplate things a little bit. Um, in the morning, we're going to try to invite Xavier over and convince him to break up with Olive. But I have a feeling that, in fact, he's not going to. And as everybody in town is pretty much, you know, blatantly throwing out there, um, he's in love with her. And that really freaking sucks, to be honest, you know considering the fact that she really does care about him, but I don't know if she really cares about him or she cares about the thought of him. It's kind of a toss-up. So we shall see um, what will be had of the situation at hand here. Let me see how much longer do I have. I have five more minutes. Okay, so let me go ahead and have her go to the bathroom here. And I'm, I'm experiencing a ton of freaking lag, but that's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and have her go take a shower. She stinks. She's really, really hungry, too. I swear, if I get another dang message about Olive and Xavier, I'm going to have a heart attack. Um, okay, so what's... Uh, town council has upgraded their immigration survey. 40 points. Council requires more than 40 points. What the hell? I, I don't understand what that even is. But anyways, guys, I'm going to have um, Amelia go ahead and go to sleep, and I will see you all in the manana. Hey, guys. All right, so it's the morning, and she's probably had like three hours of sleep. Bradley freaking called and woke her up. I really don't know what he wanted, um, but it's okay. We're probably going to be leaving here anyway, and I don't want to spend the whole entire day sleeping. So we're going to go ahead and eat some leftovers, and there was a notification. Um, it says, the bite itches ever so slightly. It's easy enough to resist the urge to scratch though hmm i wonder what's happening to her <laughs> i don't know but we're going to be departing shortly um today is the last day i don't know if we have a full day or when we really have to leave i think like mid-afternoon but i want to enjoy it so i really 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 want to invite uh mr love boy over Although a part of me kind of likes Max Grant because he is indeed a married man. So maybe that'll be like a little pen pal relationship when she returns back home. Don't really know, though. But we're going to invite uh, Mr. Xavier over. And I would change his looks, but honestly, um, he's not an important enough sim in my sim's life to even do that. And he looks okay. Like, he looks okay. You know what I mean? So let's see what's going on here. Um, sorry, I am too busy to talk right now. Call back in six hours. I don't even know if I have six hours. Let's go ahead and be creepy because that's what we're going to do. And we're going to see if Mr. Max Grant is home. Um, okay, so James is out at the moment. Is his name James? Oh, his name's James. Okay, so where are you, James? What do you do? Let's see if he wants to come over. I mean, oh, who cares if Amelia messes with a married man? She has no regard for marriage. <laughs> really, she doesn't. So, that's okay. I have no idea who the hell that was. All right. 
Um, oh my god, he is busy too. Come back in 17 hours. So what the hell? She wants to actually have a drink at two different bars. See, she definitely kind of drowns her feelings in alcohol. So let me go see if there's anything open, like a local pub or something that will be open shortly. Um, there is the Bill's Bar that's actually going to be open up in a little bit. Mary's Merry Moments. That one also will be open shortly. Um... Let's go ahead and have her get a tan because she's not going to be tan for much longer, right? I mean, it's not going to, it's, it's, this is probably one of the last few times she will be. So I'm kind of thinking we are going to go ahead and uh, get a spray tan for $175. And then that way um, we can go ahead and see what we can get into. We're just going to enjoy our last day because, uh, I don't know what's up with Mr. He's a playground monitor, so he should be done around 3-ish, I would assume. Because that's kind of when school gets out, so. We'll just wait for him then. We'll we'll get all gussied up, and we're going to try to impress him a little bit. So, who knows if it'll work out, but. I wonder how long it's going to take for her to turn to a vampire. I kind of forgot. And also, you know, if we get tired of her being a vampire, or she gets tired of herself being one, we can always, um, always, 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 always. Uh, change her back to a, um, what you would call it, a regular person, I think. I don't exactly know how that happens, but we can. So let's just have her get her a little tan. Hopefully it works out. She's just going to enjoy herself a little bit. And a look at that. Mrs. Amelia May is very, very um, bronze. And I feel like she is just so incredibly beautiful. Like, seriously. I never would have expected it. She's gorgeous. And she does look like a lot like Sherry Bay, see Nick Ravini. So Jessica Cotes Ravini and Dean Cotes Ravini tied the knot recently. Their undying love is official. It's about freaking time. Um, oh, yeah. Take a look. <laughs> I said that's so Jersey Shore. Like, oh, yeah. Take a look at Amelia May, the queen of summer. Um, gosh, your freaking so-called itch reminds me of like some sort of like, you know, um, infection of the the lower regions and that's gross but let's just see how this is working out here okay Zoe Ravini um okay so this is Dane um Nick Ravini's brother and oh yeah look at that they are indeed um married and rich <laughs> wow lucky ducks so let's enjoy the sun while we still have the chance oh my gosh amelia or athena oh my gosh oh my gosh, oh my gosh. let's go ahead and change up her skin let's fix her let's fix her finally i mean you could just like spot her a mile away oh my gosh craziness but yeah let's just go ahead and give her a brand new skin shade here and not that i care what she looks like but i mean it really doesn't it don't even matter it don't even matter um, I'm just going to do this and then go ahead and, and go back. You, she is a adult now. There is no way. Sorry, Amelia. We're making you an adult now. You're not young anymore and you look really weird. Okay. So we're just going to do normal skin. She's actually, she has always been fair. So, um, real quick while we have a moment, I'm actually going to change her up with you guys. So I think we're going to give her a different kind of look here. She's always been like the platinum kind of blonde girl. And I feel like she used to be so much prettier. I don't know what happened, honestly. Old age. But she's like a spitting image of Kirsten. That's for darn sure. So let's just give her a little bit of a makeover. Um, I don't know. I mean, it kind of fits her personality, but not so much. All right, let's just do this. We're going to give her some uh, classic brows here. All right. It's a makeup too, I'm sure. It's just not cute. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and plop into the makeup. Is that like how she normally looks, you guys? Because I feel like she just looks so different. But let's just take up all the makeup and see what happens here now. Um, oh, yeah. She's actually not that bad looking. But she's not like the prettiest thing that you ever did see. But whatever. I'm not really here to judge. I could care less, to be honest. We're going to give her some of these eyes, even though she's the infamous um, bright Springston, like kind of... Um, like amber eyes here and we're gonna just give her some gosh she looks so weird uh, i don't know if i like it but that's okay we're just gonna try to make her as pretty as we can i mean she is beautiful but you know what i mean you know what i mean you know you know what i'm saying <laughs> what well, you know about that you know nothing about that all right i don't even know 
Let's be honest. All right. And then uh, I know you guys love my nude lips. I love my nude lips. Like, if you don't like it, I'm so sorry. Um, I love nude lips, but just to make y'all make y'all feel like I switch it up a little bit. We'll give her this color. And I really don't care about her outfit, to be honest. I don't even know what the heck this is. This even is. But let's just check out her everyday situation for a moment and see if it's matchy matchy with the way she looks now. Um, no, that is a negative ghostwriter because this is not something you would catch misses in ever. Um, let me go ahead and maybe get her into some sort of dress because that's just who she is. She's kind of like prissy and primpy and rich to say the least, but, um, ignore this music. It's loud. I know. Oh, I hate when this happens. All right, so I just went ahead and gave her a quick little makeover. I think she looks 20,000 times and a half better. Um, we're just going to pretty much probably play for like two more minutes, and then we're going to wrap up this part here. Um, ooh, excuse the stretch. Um, yeah, I don't know. See, she's wearing some sort of like workout outfit, but I really wanted to say hi to her. It's been a long time since I've seen her, and I actually kind of want to know if she's still with Richie, to be honest, if he didn't die already. So now that she's an adult, um, she looks so much more better, actually. Because I feel like all of the other ones have not aged properly, like all the other siblings and things, like Reed is still young, and, you know, everyone should be kind of getting old now. Just, just saying. Um, look at who I see here. Oh, we thought it would be best. It was hard to say after all. She's two. Oh. They're living together now? That's nice. Good for you. Like, I really give a crap. Stop making me jealous. Can we just be honest? Um, let me see. Um, so yeah. Nope. She's still totally with Richie. And apparently, um, Richie is a dog, like always. And also interested in us. No freaking joke. All affections appear to be developing between Violet. Ah, uh, who the hell is Violet? <gasps> Violet, Violet, Violet. Let me see. Are you worth my dad's time? You could be worth my dad's time. Oh my goodness. Yeah. She's really young, Dad. Oh my goodness. Oh Lord. Um, what complimenting each other on their mad kissing skills? He's not like with her though, right? Okay, because I don't know how I feel about Daddy moving on. I'm supposed to be his only girl, man. Um, but anyways, it was really good seeing her. I feel like it's been forever. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can give her a quick little hug -a Um I feel like we've kind of, you know, like, caught up with everybody that we know, anyway. Uh, let's just discuss our adventures, because trust me, we've had a lot. All right. Who's this? Okay. And who's this? Oh, who are you? Don't run away from me now. Um, you are interesting looking, and you're also, like, two years old, but that's okay. All right, let me go ahead and just wrap this up here. So nice. It's kind of a good day outside. So this is cool. It's a little cold though. Palm trees and snow because that makes sense. All right, we're just going to go ahead and kind of give her a friendly hug before we leave here. Oh my God, Jennifer, what is up with your camera skills? All right, and excuse you, Eddie Fuller. Like, uh, hello, I am talking here. Let's just go ahead and give her a quick little hug of goodbye if we could. Um, air vacation is over in 12 hours. Oh, he's just taking a picture of her because she's a celebrity. I was like, thought he was trying to, thought he was trying to mac on her. But, um, alrighty, guys. I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here with Mrs. Athena, who I always call Amelia. Amelia, I always call Athena. Um, aging, or actually saying goodbye. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's just one of those days. But anywho, I hope you all enjoyed this part and are looking forward to more to come. Um, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. And like always, I will see you all in my very next Let's Play. Bye, guys.